merci de m'avoir donné la parole. Je vais, permettez-moi de me présenter. Je suis donc le général de brigade Rock Konganga, nouvellement promu au chef d'état-major de l'armée de terre du Gabon. Thank you very much for giving me the floor and the pleasure to present myself. I am Brigadier General Rock Oganga, just recently promoted to the title of Chief of the Army of Gabon. So, we're just going to do one question, but uh, why, why is this type of training so valuable for you and your military? Pour vous et les forces armées gabonaises, ce type d'exercice, pourquoi est-il important? Euh, cet exercice euh, nous permet d'apprendre les mécanismes de la mise en place d'une doctrine pour la création des forces spéciales au Gabon. Alors cet exercice m'a permis de tirer des enseignements sur la réaction face à une menace et aussi ce séminaire a permis de voir quelles sont les difficultés rencontrées face à une menace et quelles sont les mesures à prendre pour lutter contre cette menace. Et en ce moment, de nos jours, nous avons plusieurs menaces, aussi bien terroristes que les activités illicites. Donc ce qu'on aurait souhaité, c'est avec l'assistance des partenaires, des pays paternels, notamment les États-Unis, qui viendront, qui vont nous assister après la mise en place de notre doctrine, de leur imposer la doctrine pour pouvoir résoudre et prévenir les, les menaces à, au Gabon. Je parlerai, je pourrais prendre un cas concernant la piraterie ou concernant la lutte contre les activités illicites. Et cette, euh, disons, ce séminaire a permis de voir, de déceler de changer les expériences entre les forces spéciales africaines et les mesures à prendre dans le cas d'une menace aussi bien nationale que euh, euh, multinationale. Voilà les enseignements tirés de, de ce séminaire. Pour terminer, je voudrais dire que les forces spéciales, c'est euh, la force qui permettra de lutter contre aussi bien les, les actions terroristes que les, les activités illicites. Merci. Thank you very much. In, in the case of Gabon, for us, this exercise has been particularly important because it has enabled us to learn more about doctrine and frameworks that are required to establish uh, special forces. We are in the process of attempting to officially establish special forces in Gabon. Why? Because we find it necessary to develop forces that can respond to an evolving threat, so whether it be illicit trafficking, piracy, terrorism, extremism. So what, what we've been able to do during this exercise and the seminar is not only learn about the different doctrinal structures used by the United States and other African partners, but we've been able to exchange information on experiences on the ground, ways that different countries have employed their special forces. This is particularly interesting for us because we have come to the conclusion in Gabon that to fight against uh, the evolving threat, particularly terrorism, illicit trafficking, it will be necessary to have elite forces, elite special forces that are specifically trained, specifically uh, equipped to be able to face these threats. And this type of a, of a forum enables us to learn more and also to, to express uh, uh, some of our, our gaps in certain areas where we could, uh, we could uh, 
improve and manners in which we can seek assistance from our partner countries in Africa and the United States. So just to conclude, I, I think that uh, this has been an excellent opportunity to share yeah. experience and to improve our efforts collectively. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Brigadier General Yusuf Mary Abdurrahman. Uh, I am from uh, Chadian Special Force uh, Commander Strategy. Uh, uh, before I start, I, I need to thank uh, so much uh, South Africa Commander General Linder for, and uh, all the uh, uh, staff, uh, South Africa staff, uh, for giving opportunity to, to participate in uh, this exercise in, in Garmisch. Uh, this exercise is very important uh, for give us an idea for knowledge our uh, partners African, South African. Uh, for changing, for sharing information, for uh, building capacity for uh, future uh, trade in, uh, for training uh, for our soldiers to make keep peace in, in our region. Uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this exercise will be very important uh, for all the uh, African Center in Africa was uh, for all the African partners uh, for making a k keeping peace for training, charging information, uh, for, uh, for making building strategic for the, all the region. Uh, because in you now in Chad, my country, uh, around the the border we have many uh, trots like uh, Boko Haram and the south. And uh, now in uh, Libya and border, we have uh, moving the, the, the um, uh, ACME and everything. This region, it's very important for us for, uh, for help, for, for the training for our, guy, uh, our for soldiers. Yeah, I'm Brigadier General Vincent Nundwe from Malawi. This training is uh, very wonderful because uh, as a a partner to the United States, we are all fighting a, war, a global war on terrorism. One thing is that, uh, first of all, is that uh, we need to have a lot more stakeholders because in our countries, it's not only the military that partakes into the war on global terror. It also takes the, the civilian components and the police components. So w w the, the, the composition here is that most of the, us are from the military side, though it's uh, based on the soft operations, but uh, when we're operating in our countries, we also operate with the civilian counterparts. Very much so, because it's actually giving us a better network, as better partners to be able to fight the global war Great. on terrorism. First of all, is, uh, I would like to thank our partners, the United States of America, for offering us this chance to come and come together and be able to brainstorm together against uh, you know global terrorism, so that at least we can be able to curb this scourge of terrorism. It's an important course and important work here, but all, all together. Uh, my name is uh, Brigadier General uh, Ndumus Odas. Uh, I'm a Deputy Force Commander uh, of National Defense Force of Burundi. Yes, this uh, uh, seminar is uh, very helpful for me. And when I will, uh, go back to Burundi, because I have uh, gained much more from this seminar because uh, I have uh, understood the broader picture of security in Africa uh, concerning terrorists or extremist activity uh, done by extremists, uh, Boko Haram, Al Shabab, and the others. Uh, during this seminar, uh, we have uh, uh, seeing how we can uh, correct information, uh, the, the cycle of intelligence, starting by uh, find, fix, uh, exploit, uh, analyze, and uh, disseminating uh, intelligence. So from, uh, during this seminar also, uh, we have seen how a government can resolve the problem with all governmental approach and also 
We have seen how we can prevent threat by many uh, methods, uh, which, if they are applied, can avoid uh, insurgency to occur. So, finally, uh, this seminar uh, has used many vignettes uh, as an uh, example of threats which can occur in any, in any country and how we can resolve it. Thank you. Good morning. I am Brigadier General Sheikh Gay. I am the Senegalese Army Commander. I think you, I would like to thank so, uh, South Africa to organize, to organize this exercise. And I think in the future, we, we can improve that exercise by uh, improving the level of participation. You now, if you, you have in this exercise senior officers, young officers, and discussing on operational, uh, strategical and tactical level, it will be a big problem of understanding between people. Sometimes I feel that uh, the level is, is low and it's because there is not different, there is no, no differentiation between, you know, the participants. In the future, we can have maybe two sessions, as we did once, a level in which senior officers can talk about strategy. And in the other side, we can have young officers on the tactical level. So sometimes they can meet in a session and to exchange for a certain experience. But if you have everybody at the same, if you have all eggs in the same basket, you can have problem. I am uh, Brigadier General Mulefi Sikaro from Botswana Defense Force, Botswana. You know, I can just uh, start off by saying it takes a network to defeat a network. And in this uh, age of, uh, or era of a uh, global insurgency or uh, irregular transnational threats um, perpetrated by uh, global militants, we need as uh, global militaries to work more and more together than even ever before. So here we are meeting with uh, our, Afri our uh, US counterparts uh, as uh, African soft leaders to network or to reinforce our networking capabilities. I am uh, Lieutenant Colonel Herbert L. Skinner III. I am the Special Operations Command Africa uh, Chief of, of Exercises and Training. This is Exercise Silent Warriors, SOC Africa Exercise Silent Warriors, specifically designed to bring our African soft partners together to build the African soft network so that, that they can uh, learn from one another and learn from us. We're trying to build a soft network across Africa because our enemies have a network. Uh, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab all interact together. and We're trying to take, come together as uh, soft professionals and, and uh, learn one another, learn from one another so we can combat them together. We've been conducting uh, tabletop exercises specifically focused on counterinsurgency and counterterrorism. Uh, we've been discussing the uh, individual particulars from each country those aspects that affect them uh, in their operations against uh, internal insurgents and external terrorists. And we've been learning from one another. Our, our next phase is to go to Hohenfels and go into the simulation center and uh, allow the uh, participants in ex this exercise to put the uh, theory into practice, to actually put the counterinsurgency CT operations that they've been talking about into practice in the simulators. Uh, the bottom line about this ex exercise is that we are uh, learning each other's uh, uh, idiosyncrasies, learning from one another, uh, building relationships so that uh, when a crisis occurs in the future, we've got somebody that we can call that's our, our friend, somebody within the soft net network that we already know to work through the issues. You know, each individual country, of which we have 11, and uh, six general officers here from those 11 African countries, uh, have their individual uh, issues, individual threats, uh, individual uh, uh, internal political uh, uh, pressures for, for the execution of uh, special operations within and without their country. And, and specifically what we've been learning about is 
you know, those ungoverned spaces, uh, those spaces in between countries, those, those uh, places that are less than governed uh, day to day are the places where our enemies hide. And we're trying to expand between uh, the, uh, our neighboring countries, between the neighboring soft, try to eliminate that uh, ungoverned space, that less governed space, so that uh, the, the likelihood of uh, threats emerging from those areas is, dec is decreased. Well, the Special Operations is inherently joint. I mean, we have uh, Navy SEALs here, we have folks from the Air Force here, and within our partner forces, we have folks from their Navy here, we have folks from their Gendarmerie, Special Air Services, Special Forces. So, you know, we are inherently joint. Uh, because of the specificity in our special operations. Each one of these countries has a number of tasks that has to be accomplished uh, that's been prescri prescribed by their nation, and that's what makes them special. They're not, they're not general purpose forces. They're not used day to day against uh, 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 common threats. They're used, they're used sparingly against uncommon threats. Absolutely, we'll do this again. You know, when I go to Africa and, and go across these countries, uh, you, you know, I go to some of the harshest places and I go to some of the best places. And this is sort of a quid pro quo. We come here to Garmisch, bring our African partners here, expose them to the German culture, expose them to us, expose them to one another. And, and, and by that, we'll bring out unity of effort against our, our common foes. This is the first silent warrior that we've ever conducted in this manner at, with this conference, TTX, and then the, uh, the FTX within the simulators. Uh, next year we will continue this. We, we, we want to expand the African soft network, continue to build the relationships between our African soft partners and ourselves so that we can continue to be successful in prosecuting our enemies. There will be a higher particip rate, participation rate because we're going to invite more of our soft partners. We'll, we'll expand our net across after in Africa, increase it from 11 to 22 so that we can so we can have an increased impact across Africa in the future. And, you know, the, the primary focus of uh, Special Operations Command Africa is uh, counterterrorism, counter BEO. And through our African partners, our partnerships with them is, is how we're gonna be able to do that. Building the partnership, we use that word over and over again. The partnership between our African soft partners, a partnership between uh, the, our African soft partners and us, allows us to have access and impact within Africa, and that's our, our total goal.